Airbus Defence and Space has a broad portfolio in the aerospace and defence industries, as you can imagine. Within that product portfolio that we develop, there's a huge variety of uh, capabilities that go into our traditionally served products to our traditionally served markets. New business is set up as a unit within that division to take those capabilities to new markets, to new applications not traditionally served. So that's the first context. The projects we get um, or we develop uh, a solution towards a new problem, perhaps in the con consumer or commercial space, Many of those projects require some sort of technical uh, proofing or validation, and that's what this facility is here. XWorks is our rapid prototyping facility, where we take that capability, perhaps from a, a defense or space orientation, into a new market setting. We build the demonstrator very rapidly. Speed is one of our key criteria here, and we demonstrate that capability to prospective customers with a view of them saying, okay, these are the bits I like, these are things that need to change if you do that we're interested in buying this sort of solution from you in the future. Rapid prototyping, rule number one for us is to make sure you start with some customer interest. We have a huge library of capabilities in the division to draw upon, uh, but a technical company can quite often get excited by its own technology and focus it and then show it to the customer after a lot of work and the customer goes, yikes, that's not what I wanted. So rule number one, start with a customer defining what he or she really wants to achieve with your solution. The second rule is around timing. If it's not going to work in a certain period of time, it probably won't work. So you need to have the braveness to stop at certain decision points and really be objective. Can we make the next milestone or not? If not, stop it. So when we're selecting which projects do we take to new markets, and which not. One of the criteria we look at there is the degree to which you can define that solution through software. We come from a very hardware-oriented world, we're hardware-defined products. Now you see cars with more and more software coming on board. Eventually we get to software-defined platforms. We hear about software-defined radios. We're going to software-defined platforms, be they spacecraft, uh, small satellites, for example, which can now be hot reconfigured. These sort of opportunities are the ones that attract our attention most because you invest once, and then to make adaptions to that product in life is much easier through software-defined platforms than it is through hardware-defined platforms. In a world where products are uh, increasingly defined by data and driven by data, one thing we have to get used to is no one has a complete data set. Yeah? We have to share data in order to achieve good results. If I can give one example, uh, we know how we build the things we build. And if we can combine that with real in-life usage data from the customers who use our products, combine the two, then both of us benefit. We can learn how to better improve our next generation of products, and the customer can get much better uh, return on the maintenance of those, uh, uh, those systems they use from us by understanding the combination of how it's used, how it is built, and being a more efficient system. Technology, of course, is all over the world, and today I think the hardest thing to do is keep a secret. So I think now the regional differences that we might have experienced in the past are getting less. If I invent something over here, someone's going to know about it here pretty quickly. So the first thing I think everybody's getting used to, the best uh, advantage you can have is being first with a great thing. So I think now the regional differences are actually eroding, getting smaller, and uh, the way that people adopt uh, or adapt to technology or adopt it is getting faster all around the world. Of course, you see some countries where they, or regions where they probably experiment a bit more. Uh, I always think that uh, most of the inventions come from Europe, uh, but they're then made into money elsewhere and then we buy them back. You know, I think now that ecosystem of inventing, customizing it, bring it to a product, that, that whole cycle is getting shorter now. Mm -hmm.